So it's 9.50 p.m. and I almost didn't do my challenge for the day, but I am going to go ahead and tell a little story from something that happened actually today at um, the school that we're working in this summer. There was a teacher that came in um, and she was telling me, she asked what we were doing and I told her we would do oral surgery, branding and advertising. And she um, told me, she asked if I was aware of Kruger and Lennox, which is a um, oral surgery clinic in Bend, Oregon, where we're at. And I said that I've actually been trying to get in contact with them, but I've not been able to talk to Dr. Kruger yet because he's pretty busy. But um, she said that she was actually going to Kruger and Lennox next week to um, get um, some surgery or a surgery done on her uh, TMJ or something like that. And um, I said, if you don't mind me asking, would you, could you explain to me the process that you went through to um, decide to end up going to Kruger and Lennox? And she said that she had been going to her dentist and she had some TMJ problems. And um, the dentist said, laid out the options that he himself could assist with. And she wasn't too satisfied with those. And she just kind of knew that she wanted to go straight to a specialist and have surgery to fix the problem. And so she said, well, who do you recommend? And he said, well, there's actually several good um, oral surgeons in Bend, but the one that I would recommend is Dr. Kruger. He's great. And um, she then took that information. She did say she went to the, their, the oral surgery website. She um, went and read the bio for Dr. Kruger, liked what she saw. She said their website looked pretty good. So she called, made an appointment. And then there were several appointments and in her mind, she was still evaluating the, the decision to go with them throughout these appointments. All the appointments went well. Um, and it's been about a three month process. And now um, next week she's going in for some, a pretty substantial surgery. Um, and she also said that she did read the reviews. She said she looked at how many reviews they had and they were good. And then she read like the first four reviews um, and all good stuff, and that ultimately solidified her decision. So the thing that I wanted to point out was, um, and I'm hoping to talk to this teacher tomorrow if she's willing to get on and, and ask, let me ask her a few questions, but um, she basically talked about and identified the precise thing that we do with oral surgeons, which is um, we work on the brand which is not going to get you new patients. It's just going to confirm the uh, mentality that the patient already has in their mind when they are deciding whether or not they should go with you. The relationship with the dentist is still first and foremost. You have to have the trust and the um, rapport with the dentist so that they mention your name. But then once they mention your name, if you don't have the online reviews or if your website looks outdated, then you could lose that patient that is already being referred to you because the way that you are presented online doesn't match up with what the patient um, has been told by the dentist or their friend or whatever. So um, I think it was just a good example today of a real life example of a patient that is going to an oral surgeon talking specifically about the key things that influenced her decision was the bio of the doctor, the website and the look and feel, the reviews on the web on the uh, Google page and then coming in and having a good experience with the staff and the doctor when she was in the office and it was collectively all of that that ultimately converted her to a patient and that's why it's critical um, as an oral surgeon that you focus on all of those different components and not think that one of those is going to solve the problem of getting more patients it's collectively all of it that's going to ultimately grow your practice. Let me know what you think. I'm happy to um, take some emails or comments, questions, um, and let me know what you'd like us to dig into next. Thanks.